Zippity doo da, zippity yay, I'm fully booted up. What to do today? Oh, I know, I think I'll be doing some patch Friday today. This means that Windows Update will most likely yell at me for being very late for those software updates. Well, enough rambling, let's start with my old Windows 7 Acer. Ah, good old Windows 7. If it weren't for Windows XP, 7 would be my most favorite OS by a long shot. Now, it's time to install some juicy updates. Okay, now that all of it's done and accounted for, now it's time to shut it down. What? An error? Pretty unusual for this to happen. H M M M M M M M M M. What? Windows 7's unsupported three days ago. So those were the last updates for my Acer. This cannot be. Just. No. Please, Microsoft, I'm not even ready to give up on Windows 7 yet. Well, I'm not even surprised. You're not even ready to give up on XP yet? Of course not, because XP is just better. But 7 is my close second. Why? You know that you can just upgrade to Windows 10, right? Windows 10 is the latest version of Windows as of yet. Besides, doesn't your Windows 7 come with 10 anyway? It came with Windows 10 -ish. It was an absolute nightmare trying to uninstall it. Hell, I even had to reinstall Windows 7 once, because the remnants of tennis crept on you and contaminated the Windows 7 code and conflicted with its BIOS and kernel. Due to that whole incident, I consider Windows 10 to be the worst version of Windows, being at the same league as the original Windows 8 and Windows ME. Just throw it to the garbage, where the evil magnetic crane will take it to the car compactor and crush it, Ray Little Toaster style. Dump. Um, I don't think you should be that hostile towards Windows 10, all because of its S mode. Plus, you shouldn't be over-exaggerating things into including stuff from movies or TV shows, and taking them seriously as if they're real, but that's besides the point. The real point is, Windows 10 proper doesn't work like that, you can just do almost everything there that you can do on 7, and more. Hashtag RIP Windows Arrow, and pressing F to pay respect. If you don't like the Metro theme for whatever reason, you can always install a third-party program like Classic Shell to get the Arrow theme or even the Luna theme for Windows 10. But an actual good theme ought to have to be on Windows 10 in the first place. Well, there's an alternative for that. Extended security updates for Windows 7. Oh yeah? Well, one huge problem. It's too expensive. Like, EA microtransaction expensive. The very thing that made Battlefront 2 really bad to even be compared to Bubsy 3D, just like, how the last j- Okay, stop. I've heard enough of your complaining about the TLJ hate, it doesn't change anything. Please refrain yourself from taking those haters at face value, all because they said really nasty things about one movie that I can very easily ignore, but that's not the point either. About Windows 7 ESU being too expensive? Yeah, I understand that. It's just really aimed at businesses who still need to switch to Windows 10. It's not really aimed towards consumers who still want to keep using Windows 7 safely for as long as possible. Oh well. At least, Windows 7 might be supported for a little longer for big companies like Google, Sony, Squad, Rockstar, or even Kmart. Law. Never heard of a company with that name. It's a German company who are still developing what will be one of the greatest 1920 plus RTS games of all time, Iron Harvest. It features really bad ass robots in an interwar diesel punk setting. Wow. Looks pretty cool. Indeed, it is. Well enough of that. Microsoft is still releasing Microsoft Edge onto Windows 7 for some reason. So, you were right. Don't depend on that, though. Windows 10 is still your go-to OS in the long run, as new software and hardware gradually drops support for Windows 7, much like how it did for XP. Ugh, no need to rub in, Cecily. No need to be a Grinch either, Sam. You can still use Windows 7 as a sandbox OS, much like how I use Windows 95, 98, 2000, ME and XP for nostalgia and really old programs, plus trying out different builds with different motherboards, RAM slots, SCSIs, and various Intel Pentium processors up to 4, or at most, Dothan Generation Pentium M processors. So, I'm pretty much the mini LGR here. But you should really use Windows 10 to make any necessary art or sketch up models, or even deal with mission critical stuff, like stopping and figuring out how to put Zeke back in the Phantom Zone for good, or even keep those necromorph nasties away from us. It's the most secure version of Windows anyway. Oh, whatever. Time to update the other computers. Boy I'm lucky enough to upgrade all the computers in the house to Windows 10. 
did Microsoft really kill off Windows 7? I cannot believe that Microsoft had to murder Windows 7! Why have so much unfinished business to the Oh, I almost forgot. Since I was a Microsoft employee, I've been received an installation disk of Windows 7 ESU, so my fave OS isn't dead just yet. Now, it's time to continue along with my advices until 2023. Ha ha ha! What? You're still here? Okay, I'll give you my iconic closing lines. Well, that's all I have time for today. I hope you enjoyed my video about Windows 7 now being fully and supported, and until next time, I'll see you later. Now move along, there's nothing more to see here.